Indie Mogul. This week on Indie News, ditching my green screen to produce this messy effect, a DIY version of the Free Fly Movie at a fraction of the price, flying cameras meet flying pizza, behind the scenes on Man of Steel, and does your film work for blind audiences? Hey Indie Mogulers, Griffin here with a cool lower third animation. It's from the Indie Mogul archives, a couple hands unrolling a piece of paper. But how would you make an effect like this? I can see a little green spill around the edges, so this must have been shot on a green screen. Today I'm testing out a similar effect for my Sriracha documentary. I want to know if I can squirt hot sauce right onto the screen as a graphic. But immediately I have a problem. I can't use green screen because the bottle cap is the exact same color. So I bought a sheet of blue poster board. Blue screen should work well because it's a stark contrast to the red, green, and white on the bottle. By lifting this clear sheet of plastic from a cheap picture frame off of the blue screen, I'll minimize shadows on the blue screen and also minimize blue spill on the subject. The blue screen and my subject are nicely lit by my DIY light and sunlight from the windows. But all this light also means the windows brightly reflect off the plastic, so I've hung a black poster board to block the reflection. After several drawings, I've used up half the bottle of sriracha, and it's time to see if the effect works. I'll use the keyer effect to knock out the blue, and there it is! Sriracha on my screen! Now that I know that this effect is possible, I'll go find an artist who's better than me with hot sauce, and I'll figure out exactly how to apply this concept in the film. This week, I'm actually working on my Kickstarter campaign for the film to raise some money, so I want to know in the comments, let me know what is it that you want to see as a reward in the Kickstarter campaign. For $5, all of my backers will get to see the film way before the general public, and your name will be in the credits. But I want to know, for higher levels, like $20 and $40, what is it that you would expect to see as a reward? I appreciate the feedback, and I will let you know as soon as I launch the campaign. Sometimes when I record this show, my neighbor has music playing, which you can hear right now. It's very nice. Ever since the incredible Free Fly Movi debuted at NAB, I've been curious about DIY versions. The motorized gimbal technology that makes this such a smooth camera stabilizer comes from aerial videography. It's the best way to stabilize a camera on a radio-controlled copter. So our friend Tom Antos bought one of these motorized gimbals for $500, rigged it onto a shoulder mount, and tested it out. It's not perfect, but perhaps with some practice, it could produce impressive results. With RC copters becoming popular among filmmakers, it was only a matter of time before the marketing team at Domino's sent cameras and pizza into the sky. This high-tech delivery is second on today's playlist, following Tom's motorized gimbal setup. I also have a behind-the-scenes video from Man of Steel, with some useful insight about Zack Snyder and his directorial style, plus how they brought Superman into a modern, realistic world. Now here's a video that's a year old, I just discovered it, but it's definitely worth watching. Tommy Edison was born blind, but here he reviews the film Fight Club, and apparently it's still a good film even if you can't see it. This video will definitely make you think about how to use sound to tell your story. And I've never really thought about blind people watching my videos and what that means. I also have this week's new and notable video contests. So thanks for watching, and please join me this Wednesday on our live show, 6 p.m. New York time, where I'll answer your questions. See you later.